Transporting an American president is a nerve-wracking operation, almost like a scene from a thriller. The American president, one of the most powerful people in the world, needs top-level security, especially when traveling. History shows that two out of four American presidents who were killed were attacked while traveling. Presidents James A. Garfield and John F. Kennedy were assassinated during trips. Since then, presidential travel has become extremely cautious. Moving the president involves careful planning by Secret Service agents. While they try to use Marine One helicopters or Air Force One planes, short trips, like a 20-minute drive, require a motorcade. The president's motorcade usually includes over 50 vehicles and more than 150 personnel. Every vehicle and person in the motorcade has a specific task, and every detail is pre-planned, from where the president sits to who will open the door for him. Any deviation from the plan sets off alarms for the Secret Service. The motorcade is split into two parts. The first part consists of around 30 motorcycles and police cars, traveling 10 minutes ahead of the president's limousine. Their job is to clear the road and block all entry and exit points to keep private vehicles away until the president has passed. Clearing the road can vary depending on the location, with some places requiring extra techniques, like heavy police presence to block traffic. Local police also play a role, with police cars and motorcycles, part of the first group, securing the route. In the second part of the motorcade, the lead car or motorcycle guides the rest of the motorcade, setting the route and speed. The vehicles protecting the president are called the secure package. If the motorcade is attacked, the secure package can operate independently from the other vehicles. The most important vehicle in the secure package is the president's limousine, known as the Beast. To confuse attackers, two identical limousines travel in the motorcade with no visible differences between them. Their models, colors, tires, and even license plates are the same. During the journey, these limousines swap positions to further confuse anyone trying to attack. The limousine is not a regular car. It's built on a truck frame for extra strength. Its body is bulletproof, and the windows are made of 5-inch thick ballistic glass that can withstand direct bullets. All windows except the driver's side are sealed and cannot be opened. This nine-ton vehicle carries everything needed for the president's safety, including rocket launchers, night vision gear, tear gas, shotguns, emergency oxygen, and even bottles of the president's blood type. The limousine's tires are special, too. Even if they burst, the car can keep driving at high speeds. One of the lead vehicles, called the Bomb Jammer, has advanced electronic tools to detect and disable any bombs on the route. It can even protect the motorcade from guided missiles by using sensors that detect incoming missiles and deploy flares to divert them. Another key vehicle is the control car, which has the president's personal doctor and office staff. At the rear of the motorcade are two Secret Service cars. The first, called Halfback, always has agents with the president, while the second, CAT, Counter Assault Team, carries agents with automatic weapons ready for any emergency. The motorcade also includes media vans with reporters and an ID car, which keeps in contact with other agents nearby. This black truck is a very important part of the motorcade. It has trained staff and sophisticated machinery that keep the president safe from chemical and biological attacks. This vehicle is called the Roadrunner, acts as a mobile communication tower ensuring the motorcade's wireless systems work smoothly. It also helps the president use the internet or phone during travel. An ambulance is always part of the motorcade in case of injury. Finally, a police car at the end ensures no vehicle overtakes the motorcade. Surprisingly, the entire motorcade is monitored from the air by helicopters with automatic machine guns and secret service agents. When the president travels abroad, the security is even more complex. Two days before the flight, the President's limousines and other Secret Service vehicles are loaded onto a C-17 Globemaster cargo plane and flown to the destination. On the flight day, the President leaves the White House in Marine One, a helicopter used for short trips. 
five identical helicopters take off at the same time to prevent anyone from knowing which one carries the president. At the airbase, two modified Boeing 747 planes, known as Air Force One, await the president. Like the helicopters, two planes take off simultaneously. Air Force One is equipped with all necessary security features, including a presidential suite, executive dressing room, conference room, dining room, kitchen and office to keep the president fully protected during the flight. Even the president's helicopter is loaded onto the cargo plane for international trips. In an emergency, helicopters are the fastest and most flexible way to evacuate, needing little runway space. The blades are folded and the helicopter is packed into the C-17 Globemaster, which follows behind Air Force One. When the president arrives at the destination, all vehicles are unloaded and undergo thorough security checks. The motorcade's route is carefully planned and rehearsed. The level of security around the president is unmatched, showing how crucial the role is and the need to protect the leader of the free world from harm. If you enjoyed this video, we have a very interesting detail video about how the U.S. became a superpower that you won't want to miss. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing facts.